Hello everybody, once again this is Kenny Thompson with another little art project for everybody. This is geared towards kindergarten and first grade classes and one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to work on trying to draw a human face but then we're going to use paints to color it. There's a few tools you will need. A black marker, I just happen to find this one so I'm going to use that one. A cup of water and some brushes. I have my cup of water here and I only have two brushes. I have a wide brush and a fine point brush and the only reason why is because I don't want to take forever to paint. This is a 3 8 brush and this is a number one brush. And just pick a few paint colors that you like. I like green, blue, and red and how they work together but I also have black on here because I want to use that to make some spots darker. You don't have to, but there are things that you can do to help make your picture a lot more creative. So let's go ahead and get started with the face drawing first. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw just a head shape. All I'm doing is I'm just doing this oval looking shape in the middle of my paper. And then down here, I'm going to just add a neck, which is two lines just curving down into the side and then down into the side. Now, every face has eyes, nose, and mouth, and ears. So I want to just do two little shapes on the side for the ears. Kind of looks like Mr. Potato Head, but that's okay. And then I'm going to give an upside down C and another one right in the middle of the head. And it right on the inside of that, two circles. Now, for my little kids, this might be a little tricky. So, what you can also do is turn it sideways to do that letter C and with top and bottom and with the O in the middle. And now, for the nose, I'm actually going to do a triangle. I'm going to do a long triangle. And for the mouth, I'm going to do a little smiley face. Now, the fun part about this is let's add just a couple lines in the face anywhere. I think I'm going to do a curvy line at the top and I might do two circles on the sides of the mouth and I think he's done. Now we're going to add his hair or her hair up here. I can do some wavy lines coming up which is perfectly okay. I can add a couple little shapes in the hair if I want. Just making it abstract, making it fun. I might even do it down here. And now from here just some line marks. The drawing part's done now. If you added lines that were different in here, I would like to see them. Maybe be able to comment below or post somewhere what your version is and maybe record why you were, did it that way and what you liked about it. Now comes the fun part. Painting. Now, when you paint on your paper, don't go into your paint and swish so much up that you dig through your paint and use it all on one teeny tiny spot because that will just ruin that picture. Not to mention, it might go through this paper. If you press too hard, you could ruin your brushes and you could ruin the paper. Be very careful when you do this. A little bit of water, a little touch of the paint, and a little touch on the paper. Little touch, little touch, little touch. 
okay? Now, this is going to be a little time-lapse video because I want to show what you can do in different spots on this. So, I hope you guys enjoy because now, add your colors anywhere you want. If you want the face to be blue on one side, red over here that's fine if you want the nose to be purple if you want the neck to be yellow if you want the hair to be all different kinds of colors now's the time i want to see what you make so ready and now comes the time lapse video three two one go I want to show you something neat if you're using more than one color, which you should be. If you've got some color down, you can actually go on top of it with another color. And you probably saw that a little bit over here with the black. But check this out. If I go over this bottom part with the blue over the black, and then let some of that blue come over here into the red, they actually kind of mix together and it creates a neat little color. Might be something worth trying. and if you let the color run out on your brush before you reload it you actually get some pretty awesome little color schemes on here not to mention you have fun doing something with mixing the colors and just experimenting with what can happen because you never know with paints you'll have a plan and you'll try it but then it'll change on you and sometimes that change will create something you never thought you could before and that's the fun thing about art so let's continue and finish this face. Okay. I left some spaces white because white itself is still a color and it's something that you can definitely use to help with adding some space and helping things work together. So taking a look you can see all different kinds of blending in here. Some spaces have one color and some spaces mix them. I had a lot of fun making this because mixing the colors could be kind of fun because you don't know what you're going to get sometimes. But a lot of times if you mix blue and red together, you get, that's right, purple. Sometimes when you mix red and green, you can sometimes get either brown or gray, which is kind of neat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, put your name on here. Make sure you take some paint and make sure you put your little signature on there somewhere. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed.